Today we are in darkness, guys. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mercy's Empire. It's cold and it was raining in the morning. It's too cold. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Mercy's Empire. Sorry, we are watching this in a dark mode. Yeah, if you're watching this channel for the first time, this, this is Mercy from Mercy's Empire Africa, a Kenyan girl who works in Uganda, based in Kampala. Now we finally got our leave to go home for Christmas. My boss allowed me to go home for Christmas. So I had 48 days of leave. Let's say I wasn't given them all, but I got some weeks. This is some weeks. Hopefully, inshallah, we'll meet each other in January. People who are watching me from Uganda will meet each other. Oh, my buddies, my neighbors, my my friend, enemies, my enemies who are watching this. <laughs> Anywho. Let's turn the camera. I'm not wearing my glasses because the sun is not yet out. My glasses are uh, glare glasses, sun glares. Yeah, kinda I'm allergic to a lot of light. My eyes are allergic to a lot of lights. The glares make me shed tears. You just me. You just see me looking at you like this and my eyes are shedding tears because of a lot of light. But at night, it's the full lights, the vehicle full lights. I hope we'll be able to see the sunrise. So I think we should concentrate on the road. Instead of me looking at the camera trying to drive. Yeah. I'm gonna show you the road in a bit. We're in Ginger Road. Kampala Ginger Road. Do you know, guys, I haven't told people that I'm going home again. I like, I love surprising people. So I haven't talked to mom and dad for like a week. And I feel like it's a long time. But I talked to my brother and I misled him that I'll be going home tomorrow and I told him don't tell anyone so I know right now he's feeling nice he, he's saying like oh at least I know Mas is coming home and no one knows shock on him I'll arrive today <laughs> Yay. Ginger Road, Ginger Kampala Early in the morning, Rudy Nyumbani, I'm coming home. Nowhere else in the Christmas mood has already come to my heart and soul. It's a Christmas mood for me. So let's enjoy the road. Welcome to 
Marxist Empire. This is Africa. Africa. Uganda. Guys, I was hoping to bring you sunrise. As you can see from the cloud, the sun is already out. But the clouds have blocked the sunrise. So too bad we're not going to see the sunrise. But it's okay. We'll try some other day. Some other time. Guys, it has been cloudy. It has been raining in Uganda. See how green that is because of the short rains. Like the past one week, it has rained the whole morning. Like the whole morning, it's raining. Kenyans drivers who love speed, high speed, yeah? Can you imagine on this highway? Like Kampala Ginger Highway, in Eldoret we call it Uganda Road, even in Nairobi I think we call this road Uganda Road. Can you imagine it doesn't have speaker? Yeah. So here, the only mistake you can do on this road is overtaking on a continuous lane. That one do not try. They give you an instant ticket if you are if you overtake on a continuous lane. The sun is there. Sunrise. Sorry, we did not capture the sunrise today because the clouds are too many. See here, you see people overtaking, overtaking them. Uganda is our neighbor country. And in our neighbor country, there is a lot of preaching on the streets. But they call them balokole. A lot of traffic people traffic here because they are companies they employ people on wage wage like casual workers those company there is a steel company and then above there there is mattresses company that's why you're seeing a lot of traffic people traffic an escort with a Kenyan flag. Kenyan 
East Africa. Good luck. Seeing someone overtaking on a continuous lane. That is the biggest crime you can do here in Uganda. You can get police. They are all over, and the traffic police here in Uganda are too many. Too, 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 too many. So, what you do? Don't overtake on the continuous land. That's the biggest crime you can do here in Uganda. End of climbing, end of climbing here. See, even the road is so empty, but all of us we are like following the continuous lane. You will check that. That fine, an instant fine is a hundred k. Close to four thousand. Protect us on this road, no more accidents.
in this place. Me, you cannot convince me. Hey, the police have always taken a lot of money from me because of this continuous line. I cannot try. No, no, no. Let me stay 24 hours on the road. And since you have somebody like me, I have a Kenyan driving license. So when they ask for your driving license and they insist and then you give them the Kenyan driving license, they see this is mine. So they might tell you the ticket is 100k. If they've caught you and you are next to town, just accept your mistake, take your ticket, go pay it, and you move. You can pick your car and you move. Guys, you guys. Most of the times when you're driving a company car, the police tend to give you, they let you go. Because simply, they, simply because they know, even if you have a fault, like a mistake on your car, they can't get any money. You just can lose, you what, what the boss was doing. Company drivers are being but we are not. So that we know how to get out of drive. Have you spotted on the highway, Uganda highway? There's so many cameras. So this continuous lane, as I was telling you guys, do not overtake on the continuous lane. It's serious business here. You might think there is no Ascari, there is no traffic police on the way, but when you reach somewhere, you just, you're being shown a picture of your car passing on a continuous lane under a camera. <laughs> so you'll be so watchful. Watch out. Sugar plantation. Sugar plantation.
that me? My Ugandan brothers and sisters, the Kukube boys number one. That's how this track in front of me, Mad God, is written. It's Mad God. You see down there. Be Kukube boys number one. Here, I think there is no overtaking because I've seen the police down there. Guys, guys, you don't know how I have struggled to look for permission to allow me to go home. Man. was like no those are too much leave days you can't just go like a month and a half at all uh, is it good for the business that's how bosses talk and say like oh I am overwhelmed I think I want to go and rest and then him he goes like not in what in the job the problems must be there if there are no problems that the job was being that the cables could have been sold by themselves you will not have needed people like you who will not be having a job that's why you go there it's a rough way of telling you no because of my daughter I need I need to get this money finish paying for her campus yeah. I don't know want her to go stressed like getting stressed like because of me so I have to persevere Guys, look at those man talking. They could be going to Kenya. Look at that. That's a lot. Guys, we are almost at the rainforest. It's called Magvira Forest. Man, this forest is huge. But my Ugandan friends were telling me, but the forest is just along the road. And behind it there, serious deforestation has been done so kind of does know what there are no trees like here yeah, i can't even try that is my vera forest guys we are inside the forest but the hotel ugandan people are telling me that the forest is just along the highway Behind the forest, deforestation has happened seriously. And what I like about traffic police of Uganda, they also have a police station in the middle of this road because it's like let's say 20 kilometer forest that you are passing through. Let's say because of, let's say because of an accident when it took a car, or maybe robbery at night, that's why they have to put up on this station, just in the middle of the How do I say? Like, what I mean, in the middle of this 
forest as you're driving along the highway. So let's say the forest is 50 kilometers, so 25 kilometers that you will cover, you will find a police station there. Does that make sense? <laughs> Does that make sense? This truck is blocking my view and I can't overtake because there are police here. Can you imagine? There's no overtaking. So those on my have overtaken. just overtake her. Serious business. You see, we already some homes here. So we are going and then we are climbing up and then when we slope down again, there is a center in the middle of the forest. Then when we slope down, get inside serious Mavira forest. And today the trucks that are on the highway they are smoking. This one is smoking. The one in front of it is smoking. Overtaking is a no no. Hey guys, have you heard that Guardian Angel song? Hey, that song is a jam. Mavira forest guys so thick like that
not see this a continuous line or what? Oh, it's not even this kind of stuff. not overtake yeah no i've even nowadays today i've even used my recording because guys let me shock you man today recording myself driving saved me do you know how we have a lot of traffic police on this highway so i was like i was showing you the mavira forest and then a police just stopped me and told me, Ati, I'm charging you because you are driving carelessly. I said, no, I have evidence. I've not broken any rules on this road. I've not even overtook on the continuous lane. If you want, I can show you. And then he told me, no, you just go. Can you imagine? What if I wasn't recording? I will freak out and... I've given you a tip, so if you're coming through this road and they are always getting you, record yourself. So after that small saga, let's continue with our, our driving. Imagine! The police just told me like that you were driving carelessly. I told him. I have recorded myself and I know I have not driven carelessly. Would you mind if I show you the recording? And he just told me, just go. Imagine, sometimes they stop big gas over nothing. Because they know you don't. You are in a hurry, it's in the morning, and you don't want to get a ticket. Maybe you would want to do a bribe. But I've given you a tip there. Record yourself short short ones especially on a continuous lane record yourself i've given you a tip that saved me all. that really saved me that was genius of me <laughs> oh my god that was so close that was so close This is my big forest, people. 